For us at New Zealand Loyal, there is absolutely no justification for late-term abortion. Anything over three months is infanticide. And neither can we accept abortion being used as a belated form of contraception. Really only in extreme situations where the mother's life may be in jeopardy or a medical examination is deemed the child, if carried to term, will have no quality of life should abortion be contemplated. Abortions, you see, have gone from an out for women who genuinely made an error and wanted to remedy that error of an unwanted pregnancy no later than three months, they've gone from that to an actively promoted activity that has led to some women being used as organ and tissue factories and tools of depopulation. This isn't just about abortion. It goes much, much deeper than that. It's about how and why we arrived at such a place where we see the extinguishing of so many unrealized lives every single year. No matter which way you slice it, abortion is a very polarizing issue where we seem to debate the black and the white of the subject. How often do we discuss the gray area, the area of prevention? And how do we prevent women from being placed in the difficult position of even contemplating abortion? Instead of sex education being all about the mechanics of reproduction, we must illustrate the realities of creating a new life, intentionally or otherwise. It's not to be trifled with, and nor is it to be treated with reckless abandon. Life is a gift. It should not be extinguished on a whim. We need to teach our young women about the responsibilities of creating a new life. Sleep deprivation, possibly postnatal depression, even the possibility of having to raise that child alone and with all the hardships that can come with that. And perhaps teach them also that not all future partners accept somebody else's child. We've seen examples of horrific child abuse and even the murder of children at the hands of partners who were not the biological parent of those children. We can't look away from that ugly truth. 